going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Infamous O, aka Far Rock 22, Infamous underscore Owen on IG. Now, I'm here to talk to you today about a quick observation that I made, right? Now, this normally goes off of all the topics that I talk about on my videos, even though all my videos I'm all over the place with certain topics. But I'm noticing something, right? Where <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of these smoke shops, right? That's set up in our neighborhoods. And not only that they're selling products for us to use to smoke, whether it be bongs, papers, you know, cigars, things like that. But a lot of them are selling weed. And not to mention, you know, a lot of these stores, all of these stores don't have a license to, you know, distribute weed legally. A lot of them. So basically, they're in the same grind as you dudes that's on the streets. See, now another thing I noticed that a lot of these smoke shops are owned by Muslim people. You know, people from Yemen, Saudi Arabia, all that stuff, right? Now, I don't hate on nobody, you know, getting on their grind or getting on their hustle. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, one thing I have a problem with is that, you know, a lot of us got on each other's asses for selling weed on certain blocks. You know, certain areas, certain buildings, you know, a lot of people treated the, the trade, the weed trade, like the crack trade, some people, you know what I mean? Because people was making money from it. So now, since the laws have become a little relaxed, since this, uh, since this weed stuff started coming in, I feel like, you know, I see a lot of people getting comfortable selling it, you know, because the uh, consequences are a little, um, how can I say, light. But the point is, is that y'all let these smoke shops come into your neighborhood, right? Sell you all kind of weed and things like that. You don't know if this weed is good or not. But it takes away from the person that was doing it before. You know, the locals. And um, and I, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like that, that, that frustrates me a little bit because I'm not gonna lie. When I was in the game, this would never happen like that, man. I feel like in my neighborhood, like if I was still in, if I was still selling weed, like I honestly would have to put the pressure on these guys to have my stuff on their shelf, for real. Because when stop and frisk was going on, when people was going to jail for this, when people was getting their house raided, you know, for weed, because a lot of people was going through it for weed. I went through it for weed. I had a case for that shit. I'm gonna talk about that too. But a lot of people stood out of the way. A lot of people didn't want to get involved. But now since the laws is lax, now everybody and their mama selling weed, including the stores. Like, think about it. The Muslims are selling you weed. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not a religious guy, but from what I remember or from what I understand that they're not supposed to mess with any kind of things that alter the mind or stuff like that. Beer, drugs, all that stuff. So why are they pushing this in your neighborhood and why are you letting them you know especially the dealers like why you don't have anything on the shelf you know these guys got their own suppliers they got their own distributors why people in the neighborhood don't have anything on them shelves in them stores you know what i'm saying that's something i'm i'm real serious about something like that you know what i'm saying and i don't like the fact that you know it's easy for them they got the storefront and y'all just let them do this you know, I'm not a guy that's instigating, but this is what it is. This is what it is. You let them come into your neighborhood and sell weed. I don't know, man. But something got to